John Mauser lives right on the banks of the Delaware River. John is a retired math teacher, a river historian, and an avid fisherman who is very much in tune with the river and its many moods. John's house has a long staircase to the water, and he has a detailed flood plan for progressively more involved actions as the water rises up these steps toward his house. He monitors this via the National Weather Service flood forecasts. My name is John Mauser. I live right alongside of the Delaware River. Beautiful river, it's great for fishing. Living inside the river does have a bit of risk. In order to lower the risk to myself and to my property, I, I have a plan. And part of that plan is I get an emergency email notice of any storms in the area or any flooding events upstream from our particular property. If I get an email alert, I immediately go to my computer and I check the National Weather Service's Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service. This service is very important to me. It'll show a river prediction of height. I know what height causes a problem for my particular property. Knowing the height prevents me from panicking and enables me to en enact my plan for a flood. Once again, in order to lower my risk, I have a flood plan. As soon as I find out there's a potential of a flood, once again, I check the Ahab site. I start moving some boats, kayaks, my one dock, away from lower areas in the floodplain. I start checking the, web, the USGS website for New York, Hancock, New York, Port Jervis, and a few other sites noticing if they're being impacted. From Hancock, New York to my site, it usually takes about a day and a half to show what's happening up there down at my section of the river. So I know I have a day and a half to prepare if there's a severe flooding event up north. If the flooding event is in mid-river, like Port Jervis, I know I may have a day to a part of a day to react. Another thing I'm looking for is when the river crests. If the river is cresting up at Port Jervis, I can make an estimate as to how close we are to cresting. So I'm looking at several websites on moving items to higher ground. I have three terraces. This terrace here is about 10 and a half feet above normal level. This is the level of a normal flood. Every year we're going to have two or three floods that will come up 10, 11 feet. This is what I can expect, this level right here. I have to be responsible for my safety and the safety of my family. In order to do that, I basically have a four-step plan. Number one, living this close to the river, I realize I have to watch the weather forecasts. I have signed up for an email not notification uh, from an emergency firm. They will notify me if there's a flood coming, if there's bad weather coming, and if, if I get that alert, which I am looking for, I will check immediately with the National Weather Service's AHAP site to see what the prediction for the river is. I will also go back to that site five or six times a day to make sure that, that the prediction has not changed. Uh, it's very important to me that I make the right choices for my family and I'm able to protect the property that I have. Uh, that I move my boats, my kayaks, my docks out of the floodway if there is a flood coming. So once again, I do subscribe to an emergency service which will notify me of emergency events. I do use the National Weather Service site. I have my own flood protection plan that I do follow. I have plywood that's cut and the screws are ready to go in to protect doors and windows. And I also am aware about moving things out of the floodway. 